Hello everybody and welcome back to CK3. Now we are still in the process of improving our county's well economy and also our levies. As we can see we do have now 2100 levies in size. Pretty cool right? Um, and we've also finished the Hunter's Lodge now in Zurich so this increases our tax income even more. Um, what we could also do in Zurich for example since we do have the Hunter's Lodge we might then just upgrade it to the Hound Pens. Gives us even more taxes for example the crop fields to the hamlets. And let's actually do this. Let's upgrade another holding there for Zurich itself. Right, and as we can see, for Schwitz, for example, we do have some nice um, buildings here as well. For example, the pasture to the guild halls. The guild halls, we could upgrade this one directly, and this one increases then the size or, well, the income of that. But I'm going to improve um, what belongs to me directly first before I do anything else. So that is that earning us a bit of money. Now, in the grand scheme of things, we do have a few problems at the moment. The first one is that we do have two duchy titles and nowhere near a we are close to a kingdom. Oh, my wife gained the trade architect as well. So this gives us another bonus there to stewardship skill. Um, that we know we don't have a tight a kingdom title anywhere close. When we look at that, Duchy of Coretz here and the Duchy of Alsace are both part of the kingdom of East Frankier, right? So that is the kingdom. Um, that is the next higher title that we would have to go with and that is just so far away that it's impossible for now to reach this What we need to do though because of that now is The problem here is that I would love to get more titles The problem is though is if I die I do have two duchies titles that get inherited and since one cannot inherit two duchy titles at once the we do have a separation then once again so Corazia goes to my firstborn Simon, but Alsace as we can see, I can show that real quick. Alsace, if I see that, is going actually to my second born son, Jacob. So once again, I would have to get it back by force. Um, either I go with that or I destroy the duchy title of Alsace. If I do that, um, I do lose some prestige and the vassals there wouldn't like me that much. But other than that, nothing else happens. You know, so in that case, if I die, um, my firstborn would get all of it because it's the highest title then might be something. I'm um, called to war. In that case, someone is calling us to war against this guy here. And I'm going to decline, of course. I don't see any reason for that. Um, but what we can also do is, um, well, we could destroy the title. At least I think so. At, at least I think this would then, you know, um, make it go away that, that we have a separation each time I die. Or we just live with it. You know, because the next one in line would be Jacob, and he's extremely weak anyway. I've got the better army, and I like to keep the title. Well, then, I just keep the title for now. What we still don't need to do, though, is I wanted to actually expand to the east, right, towards Salzburg in that regard. I cannot do that at the moment, because we are part of Lotharinga, and the rest is part of Bavaria. What my one of my goals is, is to become independent from Lotharinga, and then vassalize myself to the king of Bavaria. Then I would be in this empire, or in this kingdom, and then I could go on, um, you know, taking more counties, more territory. Now, in order to achieve that, I would have to wage an independence war. Just look at that, 15,000 soldiers she's got um, for help. Reason for that is she's got a very, very powerful um, alliance there with the Byzantine Empire, which has 9,000 soldiers. So she's just way too powerful at the moment. Now, what we could do is, well, we could kill her. Her sons would have no alliances anymore because this is all through marriage. Um, the only thing is, wait a second, this is Gimar, as he's called. And the only alliance that would carry over would be... Actually, none of these. Is he not married? Nope, he's not married. So, actually, all the alliances would go away. So she would be way weak or the kingdom itself. So, we might actually try to have a murder scheme against her, right? Should we do this? Yes. I'm going to try it at least, um, even if it's not the highest success chance. Let's support the scheme with my spy master. My wife is joining in. And let's just have a look at the scheme. As we can see, we might convince some others to join. Um, there's a duke. Oh, 450. You're crazy. 220. Uh, that is all very expensive here. Um, 19% for 60. That's fine. You are... Oh, you want too much money. These people are greedy. We have someone else. That's 67% chance. A disfigured person. Nope. 14% for 300 coin. It's not an easy... It's not a cheap business killing a queen. 
Well, they're all quite expensive here. 140 for 14%. Not yet. We'll just wait for the murder scheme to progress a bit more. I do have another point that I can spend. Um, in that case, collect taxes, efficiency, foot level, levy reinforcement. I really want to finish the architect though, so let's go with the taxman. That's our next point. Hmm. I would really love to invite more people. A duke is too expensive. I don't want that. Oh, there is a nice one for 70 coin. That is absolutely possible. And then perhaps someone really, really low. Uh, I mean, it's a good thing lots of people want to join in murdering her. It's a bad thing that they're also expensive. 87% chance we know that everything below 90% will probably fail. So it's a start, right? It's not something that we need to decide right now because it still takes a bit of time. But in that case, if she dies, she loses the... Um, the alliance is there and we would have to fight an independence war against a two-year-old which should be successful then I could also with yeah prestige wise I'm not that good though you know the other thing is I would have to call in some allies um, and that is something I cannot afford that much at the moment hmm let's just wait and see what comes out of it Oh, we are at 95% chance. This is actually quite successful. It might work. Growing strong. Cecilia. Alright, she's, well... She's not sickly anymore. Epic music to that. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's have a look. There it is. My agents have scheduled a journey for Queen Giselle, which will take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them and the highway robbery gone wrong. And they did their job. As the travel party stopped to camp in the, for the evening, bandits poured from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Queen Giselle was tragically slain in the melee. No one suspects us. Very good. So as we can see... Oh, something tragically happened. That Lotharinga got divided now into two parts, because it's two kingdoms. <laughs> and he's inviting us to a council there for the marshal? I'm not even good for Marshall. But yeah, we got now two weak ones. And look at that, how weak they are. We might really go for this. Declare war on the independence claim. They're vastly inferior. The only thing is, it costs a lot of prestige. Oh, good goodness. New council position. She's my vassal and good at it. Let's do that. Disrupt schemes. Hmm, that's a difficult one though. It's a lot of prestige that we would lose. We could go, but well, I can call in one of my allies then. No, actually I cannot call in anyone. We have 2,000 soldiers. But he's so weak, I can't see that he will be good at anything really. We might try it. If we lose, what happens? If we win, we become independent. If we lose, he imprisons us and gains ti a title revocation reasons. Um, he would gain 150 prestige, imprison us. We would be imprisoned and most likely we would get killed in prison as well. Which wouldn't be the worst thing that my heir could take on. It's a risky business. It's something that I haven't done yet. Military wise, we have the upper hand. He's got no alliances at the moment. He's a really weak king. He's already defending against someone, against this guy here, and but he's winning the war. Uh, he's got no money though, so there should be no way for him to get any more soldiers, right? Let's try it. I mean, what is it without fun, without the risk? Let's do this. I'm eager to see what happens then. Declare the war. Oh, we would get a fame penalty because we cannot afford this. Alright, alright, then we'll wait. It's my first try doing this. It might get better then. To nurture relationships between the next generation of rulers is a duty we should not neglect, says Duchess Margaret. Some of your more influential vassals have children that I'm certain Simon would benefit from knowing. Uh, my son and heir will do fine on his own and this gives us actually 75 prestige. 
Yep, we're doing this. Right, let's just have a look. My assignment here, it's not this guy here that was meant, you know, it's, I think, this guy here. This Simon here, right? So he's being educated right now, and it's fine. And this guy here is my heir. It's fine too. We don't need that much more prestige, actually, for this independence war that I'm preparing. Um, he's also fighting once again, and he's losing this one. He's got barely any soldiers, no money. Ah, come on. <sighs> we still have this war penalty, though, that hurts us a lot. Okay, this was definitely a mistake killing her so early, but I was greedy. I gotta agree. Oh, I gotta, uh, well, yeah, say that. A missing village, lit one only by single candle, my finger pauses on an entry in the letter. Something is not quite right. Soon I'm searching through every record from the county of Zurich I can find. At last it is clear as day. It seems as if an entire village has gone missing from the taxation records. What? The tax collector in Zurich must investigate. Villagers go missing all the time. <laughs> Okay, the tax collector collector must investigate. And the tax collector sent to inspect the missing village never returned. Under heavy guard, I decided to investigate myself and finally discover why that was the case. Every house stands derelict and abandoned. There is no trace any people at all, not even my collector. A slowly rising sense of dread overtakes me as my guards rummage through the silent ho houses, quickly turning to panic when one of them suddenly shouts, Oh god, what? What did you find? There could be anything here. We leave now. No, let's find out. Oh god. What awaits me in the abandoned house is a foul stench and a pile of corpses. Decay makes it impossible to tell how they died, but even the more recent corpse leaned against the wall. My tax collectors without noticeable marks. Oh, it looks like this is the plague, or what? Burn this hell pit to the ground. Land cleared for settlement, development growth plus 30%. Oh, that was successful. In Zurich, did we lose something though? No, we still have all the villages here. So in that case, I did not lose anything. Oh. It is unceremonious, but fire does what needs to be done. I watched as the flame consumes the long abandoned houses, but not for long. I have not. I have seen everything I need to see here. And we get a stewardship perk. Very good. And we can go for organized master roles, levy reinforcement rate, plus 100. And then we go for popular opinion, domain limit, plus 2, and the architect. Domain limit plus 2 will be very, very good. Alright, what is happening here? Dutchy... We still have the war, and we gained another 90 coin from the tax collection. I need prestige! Give me some prestige here, please. We do have the money, that is fine, but I want, I want to have my independence against this guy here. He's so bad at everything. He's probably not going to live long. Who's going to inherit this guy? He's in prison, though. Oh... A bit more prestige would be so amazing right now. Let's have a look at one of my councils. Can we get prestige? This guy here. Right, we do need to train commanders anyway, so let's have to train commander. I don't have low control on anything right now. Um, nope. They're really... I think we might call a feast. Yeah, costs 100. We might get some prestige out of this. Let's make a feast. Mm. Guests are gathered in a great hall, lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realms. I think this is the first feast that we have. It begins. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It has all gone bad. Oh god. The feast is still raging, but without drink the mood is sure to dwindle. The wine merchant should be still in town. Yeah. You gain fought thirst. Oh, yeah. Prestige increase. Already successful. And a loud crash resounds through the great hall as one of the doors through service quarters breaks. In a barely cloth tumble, my spy master Theoderoda and my cousin Count Clement spill out on the floor in front of everyone. Right, that is a secret exposed. And as the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Countess approaches Margaret and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. <laughs> She's probably totally drunk by now. And we get 150 prestige, isn't that nice? 
This is fabulous. He is still bad at everything. He's losing a war. He's got no alliances. Let's go for it. Independence is calling. Let's raise the army. I've got 2,600. And the feast is over. We get another 150 prestige. And... I don't think we'll need to call anyone to war, but still, just in case, we could. We have everything for it. He's up here, so we have to march up there first. This will be very bad on our supply limits, though. My last chance, Elizabeth decided that it's her, that she could leave. My half-sister? Give me a year. I need to decide that later. Right, I need to get the capital before anything. Independence war is upon us. Can we win this one? He's got such bad army, seriously. How can he be, be a king? A secret exposed my vassal, Mayor Constance has accused Carlo, the love of my spy master, of having copulated with the spy ma Seriously, my court, what is that? Even my bishop is now included. This crime cannot be unpunished. You're in prison, Count Countess Theodora, which is my spy master and vassal. And you have fair reason, no one will think me as a tyrant. We could use this, right? She is city of Schwitz. She might lose this title then and we would get it. That actually sounds like a good idea, right? We've taken this one. Um, in that case, we need to defeat his army though. So let's get back home there. There we've defeated the army. And yeah, what we really need to do now, I think, is we need to go up here. There is the capital. It's a long path, though. Spymaster, we can have a new one now. We could recruit someone or we can get one of my vassals. As is, this would cost me too much, so let's have my son. He's the spymaster now. Um, prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, let's do that later. Alright, and we can unlock a new perk. Popular opinion. Plus 50. That is pretty big, right? So look at that. Popular opinion is now really high in all of my counties. Which just helps us. And we're still waging the war now against my leech. We got a new commander as well. This guy here, 16 martial points. Welcome. I've been corresponding with a Chancellor, Count Vittorio, and I must say that I've come to see you in a new light. Kingdom of Bavaria, yes! The Queen of Bavaria likes me more, and with that, might take us then in. I just need to check something here. This guy, is he gotten strength stronger? No. Right, he's still pretty weak. Alright, there we got it, and we can enforce the demands. We become independent! We are independent. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> We're independent now. That is pretty cool. We get a lot of fame by that. We have some vassals, or well, someone in prison here now, of Strasbourg. She would pay a handsy sum. Let's go with that. And there's another 30. We can ask a faith for a bit of money. Let's do that. More money is coming in. The problem though is now, since we are independent, you know, we do have good alliances. So we're not that weak actually. If we declare war, for example, now on someone else, might be, or we swear fealty to Bavaria. If we do that, well, then we might actually conquer these territories here, right? So that's the Duchy of Augsburg, for example. This guy here holds it for now. Um, and we could fight them directly. So we could really go into Bavaria now if we want to. Um, on the other hand, we are so strong, we might just make our own kingdom. We could go with him, for example. Seize, what? County of Sundgau. Seize the county. I mean, we could even fight the kings now themselves. You know, of East Francia there as well. This guy here. My claims. The Duchy of Thuringia. We could get the whole thing in one go. Ah, we have a truce though. I don't want to be a truce breaker. 
Really cool. We are independent for the first time in a long while. Remember when we started with our little counting prison? And we are now independent. We are so strong that we don't have to fear being swallowed up anymore. That is a big thing. My son Jacob comes of age. He could marry now. We should be doing something here. We do have some geniuses. Ilsa, she's eight. She's a genius. Um, the case is if my firstborn son dies, we still have the secondborn, right? And having two geniuses on the line might be a good thing. And our alliance power is high anyway. So let's let's go with this. Right. -o. That is that. What we definitely want to do then is destroy a title I'm sure of. And let's just check my... Oh, no one is getting the genius trait in my family. Oh, my daughter. The daughter of my son is a genius, but not the son himself, who is looking like that. He is a leper. Oh, God. I hope this goes away again. Look at him. Oh no, I think we'll have to get rid of this guy here. Do you have another son? Hmm, nope. The firstborn is a leper. This is not good. Fertility minus 95%. Oh god, there is a new problem coming up. <sighs> Stay tuned.